Elizabeth Taylor, with many lives on the big screen. But the period after her prime Hollywood years, from the late 60s through the mid 70s, is unique. It was then that after a critically acclaimed run of successes, Taylor lost much of her audience when she made an odd batch of flicks. While they were generally not conventionally good, they are still worthy of attention and love. Besides, whoever says, I want to be conventional. She began as a child actress with an unusually mature face and became an ornamental teen star who treated acting like a game. But then she learned to nurture her craft. She earned acclaim and reached the peak of her stardom. They weren't all serious films. Some were over the top, melodramatic, not that there's anything wrong with that. Many of those were films she made with her fourth husband, Richard Burton, and through it all, she was a huge star. That changed when she and Burton made the horrid, fabulous boom with director Joseph Losey in 1968. Bring a telex report out to me. Ow! Shit and your mother! God damn it! There was a feeling of catharsis in her performance as the dying Sissy Goforth. The MGM princess rebelled. And that feeling of having had enough showed in the roles to follow. You son of a bitch! Come back here, you! I haven't dismissed you yet! How oh, could you indeed play the oldest and dirtiest trick of all? Why, if it isn't darling Stella! There were things about these films that were campy, strange, even laughable, but she was also bold, funny, and often showed how much she'd grown as an actress. She made herself vulnerable, still glamorous, but loosening her hold on Hollywood star vanity. Never had a more. Uh, look at this face. Isn't it almost the face you married? Sometimes she tried to seem like an ordinary woman, but that never worked. Elizabeth Taylor working a counter, buying groceries, living in a one bedroom apartment. Yeah, right. She was still a queen. Still ridiculously beautiful. Charismatic, confident, and not having it from anyone. And as outrageous as she could be, there was also new subtlety in her acting. A stillness. She seemed to be taking the time to reflect on what it means to be alive. As soon as I saw you this morning, I knew that you were the one. Mm -hmm. 